Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tembisa. I'm glad that you are here. This is an impromptu video, but I decided let me bring you into my kitchen because I was thinking what am I going to do for supper and then I decided to make eggs, eggs and bread and some sausages, yes. And so I remembered that I had mentioned in one video that I had issues with how we just could not get scrambled eggs right so i thought it's a great idea let us do the scrambled eggs and see how they turn out awesome so yes so i'm gonna turn the video and uh, show you what we're doing but i've been a very busy girl today my goodness let me show you all the things that i've done i have been from early in the morning i made some granola it's an order actually for a good friend of mine whose daughter is just loving the granola and she's like no i'm not having nothing for breakfast i'm having auntie tembisa's granola which i'm so happy with it makes my heart happy and you know as my friend was saying she's like you know i mean you know she's just a brilliant and a great friend who's like oh, I'm, i just want to support you because she's a great cook i'm sure she can make a awesome granola but she's just you know being sweet to me and you know because i'm making these things and you know selling them and so she's been very supportive so yeah here's her granola here's her granola nicely marked and so she ordered two 750 grams of granola which is lovely and of course i made some for myself because you know the family is now loving it as well oh let me show you how else i made it because i layered some for my husband for breakfast tomorrow but i put it in the fridge so i'm going to show you quickly oh so there we go look at that i layered some granola with plain double cream yogurt and you can see the fresh cherry on top I've put some, I've layered some guavas, guavas that I poach in red wine, which I made, um, and, you know, some granola and some mixed fruit uh, compote, you know, because what I, I was making some jams yesterday, yesterday I made some jams, and so the leftovers of the jam i put them in one tin so you know we call of course they always call it mixed fruit but it's yumminess of all the jams that i've made so this is what it looks like this breakfast my husband can't wait for tomorrow to have this breakfast okay so let's leave that so i'm just going to show you the jams that i made this is apricot excuse me apricot jam that i made and you know what I actually got like these are 250 ml jars now you know I'm doing this so that you can also do it for yourself at home because it's quite easy I'm literally you know doing it selling it of course you know for people who love yaminess who just don't have the time for it so you know you can of course then order your jams but this is apricot oh my goodness it is absolutely delicious and so one two three four four jars and you know what these were like what 30 rand i paid about 30 rand for the apricot 
apricots um, and oh, it's delicious you can't get better than this you cannot get better I mean usually I will not buy apricot jam but this is good stuff now I can eat apricot jam and then as you can see can you see the goodness raspberry raspberry jam can you see how amazing that looks and then there's blueberry blueberries but what I did yesterday because I do random things when I cook and because I've never done it like this before and I just decided let me pour some you know just a teeny weeny red wine oh my gosh did it elevate the depth of the taste it is absolutely to die for this is now the way for me you know I let my daughter taste and I was like tell me what's different and you know she couldn't get to it but eventually you know she tasted the wine and she swears it is the way to go so that's what I did so if you can see across the window all the jams that I made it is absolutely awesome um, look I'm not a really for me a jam person because I don't actually eat a lot of bread um, so but maybe if I make something like um, uh, crepes or um, what we call it flapjacks or um, you know but I'm not really bread bread person like that but I do eat bread but not very often maybe like once a week because we normally have like um, Saturday morning for breakfast Saturday and Sunday we have like uh, bread rolls for breakfast you know bread rolls just with meat with ham just a quick easy breakfast so that's the only time really I eat bread but I'm not like that person when I'm hungry then I go to the bread bin because I don't really like bread of course there is bread that I really like but I tell them do not buy that bread because I finish the whole loaf of it and that is siabatta or ciabatta uh, Italian bread because I love that so I try not to have it in the house because then I will look like a house so guys let's get into it um I'm, i don't want this video to be too long remember the other day i made a video about eggs i was rambling and having a fit about how restaurants can't get eggs right and blah 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 and then i said i'm gonna do a video about eggs and you know to see and i actually did google um of course my favorite chef in the world is Gordon Ramsay I mean I trust him with my life I have really literally followed him studied him and you know I love him to bits but Gordon oh my gosh I mean eggs no Gordon you cannot make an egg I am so mad that I think maybe he was trained as a chef you know in France or whatever I remember him saying something to the effect but the man cannot make eggs. Gordon, uh uh, I'm sorry. A scrambled eggs. I'm talking scrambled eggs. I mean, obviously, fried eggs is just straightforward. Um, but scrambled eggs, I mean, Gordon makes this creamy thing that, you know, he puts a blob of butter, like a hundred gram of butter, you can imagine, and creme fraiche. I'm like, really? No, this is. But maybe it's a French thing or whatever, but no, this is not how we know a scrambled egg to be. So um, I checked out other people, other, you know, uh, YouTube videos, eggs. I think that maybe the people that could make it close to decent scrambled eggs were sadly, sadly Americans because... I'm sorry to say I don't have a lot of uh, trust in <laughs> their cooking, but you know they could display a somewhat decent scrambled egg. 
And another thing I was rambling about was grilled tomato. I mean, hello. I mean, basically we were at the spur. I did say in the in the video. And, you know, they usually give you like a cold kind of, you know, uh, tomato, which is not really, it didn't even hit the pan. It didn't, I mean, of course, you know, you would see the lines of the grill. They put it on the grill, but like, it's not, you know, the way I want it. I suppose everyone has their preferences. So obviously I'm not saying anyone is wrong, but I mean, like when I show you the, the egg, um, when I saw the egg, the way Gordon makes it, I remember, you know, when we used to cook eggs for babies, you know, then that is the kind of egg you would put because then you want it really mushy, mushy, mushy. And for me, that is how Gordon Ramsay makes an egg. I was like, Gordon, uh -uh, I'm sorry, come to my house. Let me show you how to make an egg. So guys, let's get on with it. And I'm going to move the video now to where I'm cooking. So you can see the, here we go. Let's see that. Can you see? It looks like it. Okay, great. So let me put on the stove. Um, so this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so if you can see, one of also my favorite things to do is always to see with how much I can get away by not spending too much money on a meal. Okay, so basically I love to make dinner or lunches where, you know, I sit with my family and I literally like tell them, you know, each plate of what we are eating, then because I will calculate what everything cost me when I bought it, because I love to do that. And then I would tell them, do you know that we are having a meal and it cost us like 10 rand per person or less than that. So it's also my favorite thing to do. So um, because I do believe not all meals must, you know, have this extravagance and whatnot. It can be a simple meal. It can be lovely. So let's do this thing. So we're going to do scrambled eggs I and mean, my husband likes fried eggs so we're gonna do fried for him and basically we're gonna we're eating sausages um, it's actually cheese grillers look at this um, I got them at food lovers um, these were 50 rand these were 50 rand okay so I mean I'm going to obviously thumb suck you know what I mean I'm not gonna be like calculate because I, I actually did not plan if I had planned for it then I would have made calculations but I'll take it at the top of my head so how I decided I'm going to do them because also what I don't like about cheese grillers because whenever we at restaurant I will never order something with the cheese griller because the way I don't like them making it is when they put they make them with oil when it's oily so how I'm making them is I am literally poaching them they're sitting in hot water i'm just poaching them okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna start with the tomatoes okay so let them poach so long sorry let them i don't know what we call them now because we still call it a grilled tomato but we sort of like pan frying it but i want to show you what I think it must look like when you have now made a proper, you know, tomato or what should be called a grilled tomato. All right, let me just get the... Let me get... Okay, I think you can see me. I'm just going to just get the tomatoes. Because I, I checked what do I have in my fridge and I only had one tomato when I was checking what are we having for supper. I found the cheese grillers. We have eggs and a tomato. So, okay, so I asked my husband to buy us bread, bread rolls. So I said, okay, please buy us another tomato so we can have sufficient. 
addition to tomatoes, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna cut it thickish, thickish. Okay. I'm just gonna put it in a pan to cook. Okay, two tomatoes will be good enough. Okay. There you go, I put some olive oil and I'm not going to throw away anything. Can you see the tomatoes? Okay, there we go. So just some pepper. Okay, let me just take this away. Put some pepper and salt. While it's doing its thing, I'm going to prepare the eggs, the scrambled eggs. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do three eggs, right? Because somehow, you know, even when you go to a restaurant and when you order a scrambled egg, I think they always make it three because two scrambled eggs looks too little on the plate. So, so you just let it cook, you just let it cook like that. And I'm going to put in some oregano. Now, I do prefer you know, um, fresh, but this was not planned. And so when I decided I'm doing this, I don't have in the fridge. And I actually ran, oops, ran to my neighbor to ask for parsley and he did not have, he did not have. So, but that's fine. It's not going to <laughs> kill me. He actually asked, what are you cooking? Because I'm always cooking something so I said, I'm actually making an egg, so it's not that critical. So I'll survive. So that is the tomatoes. So what I also do like when I make grilled tomatoes like this is to put a little bit of sugar just for that sourness of the tomato. Obviously, that is not the best thing to do, but I mean, you know, for me, food is always about the taste, so bad. Obviously, if you are cooking for diabetics, you're not going to do that. I also like the way it caramelizes the tomato, so let's leave it. Okay, so... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around and prepare, prepare the bread so that as I make the eggs, I can just, you know, continue to, there we go. So I'm just going to butter the bread. Can so much dish at the same time. Okay, there we go. So like I said, we are just having coney rolls. We are having coney rolls. Um, see where you can see. Okay. Okay, the lighting is not that great here, but okay. Let's see if this works. This should be okay-ish. Let's do that. Okay, great. All right, so these are coney rolls. I buy from our 
far down the road. Okay, so, you know, there's nothing serious, fancy. It's a quick, lovely dinner. My husband actually loves these kind of meals. He calls them cho-cho. <laughs> he loves them. He does not really... I mean, he loves all food, obviously, but he is really not finicky, so he literally eats anything. Okay, so I'm just going to butter and well, my husband likes, you see this bread, though. it's for me and the girls, my husband prefers whole wheat bread, so... That is what he's having, so he bought himself this bread because he likes, calls it bitter broth. Okay, so I'm just turning my tomatoes. I've just taken away the, the pan for the eggs because it now went too hot because I'm doing too many things. Just buttering the bread. And then. I love just bread rolls and butter just like that. I can just eat it just like that. When I, in fact, I think it's not because I probably don't like bread. It's just obviously because I know that bread is not good for me. So I try to not like it so much. <laughs> because you can hear me saying, um, you know, I can just eat. Um, the bread just like that which means it means I like bread but I try not to like it because it's not good for me if I had to eat bread the way my husband eats bread I'll be looking like a house so I'm not very far from that anyway so yeah here we are the, you see the tomatoes are grilling nicely and hence I always say, why do we have a struggle? Okay, so you saw the three eggs. I'm going to beat the eggs now. Not too much, just nothing hectic. Okay. And the big thing about scrambled eggs is don't make a lot at a time because then they get hard okay i'm done beating them they don't have to be beaten that much harder so the choice that i have is to this pan is very hot now and i don't want it to spoil my egg Just lower the stove. Mm. Tomatoes are grilling nicely. Excellent. Okay. All right. So, so I'm going to. I mean, you can literally, I use a combination when I make a scrambled egg of oil, either sunflower oil and butter, it must be butter, or you can use olive oil and butter. I must say, 
the combination that I literally do prefer is sunflower oil and butter because not not a lot, just a, a teeny bit and some butter. Okay, not a hell of a lot, just a that. And let me see. So there's there we go. And literally, this is now the trick of this because so let's okay. make sure it does not burn about the oil otherwise it's not going to make your egg nice so i'm just taking it away from the heat so it's three eggs beaten not much you literally put them there and i want you to see exactly what is happening and literally all you do as it hits the pan you literally do that you don't have to like vigorously you know stir it no that's all you need to do you don't have to be vigorous about it and this is where i struggle as to why is my scrambled egg not coming out the way it's supposed to when i order it at restaurants and all you do is just a little bit of pepper. Aromat is the best still, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, and then if I had parsley, I would have put in parsley, but I will settle for mixed herbs, right? My tomato is burning, but it's perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to switch off the stove and it can just continue to, to cook there. Now, look at that. This is a perfect scrambled egg, you know. We don't need to fight when I go to a restaurant. It literally takes a second to... For the egg to hit the pan what is important is the integrity of the process and bob's your uncle there is a scrambled egg okay so just gonna turn this around again to show you as i plate it okay i don't know we'll see you know this don't worry this will get better someday soon but now i'm just literally so this is how it goes. I'm placing the egg there. Perfect scrambled egg. There we go. So I'm going to make another one. Okay. Okay, so actually, let me make the fried egg. Okay, so that's... So let's turn the camera around again so you can see. There we go. Okay. So here is the. I'm doing the combination. When I make a scrambled, sorry, a fried egg as well, sunflower oil and butter. Okay. And you get a perfect fried egg so my husband will have two eggs two eggs here we go okay there we go okay did you see that okay i mean i'm sure i don't have to show you how to make an egg so there it goes Okay, 
Okay. What's important? Don't break the yolk. Do not break the yolk. Listen. Okay. No, no, no. No. Do not break my yolk. There's going to be big problems if you break my yolk. It is my privilege, right? It is my privilege to break the yolk. Nobody else has the right to break the yolk. Okay, so a bit of pepper. Pepper. And aromats. My husband loves aromats, but literally salt and pepper, right? Okay. And Bob's your uncle, hey? I mean, supper is literally done. I love the way, yeah, I even anything like Frankfurters, you know, Russians and things like that, Viennas, I always make them like this, drop them in hot water. I don't like to uh, cook them in a pan or anything because then they get oily. But this looks for me perfect. You poach them nicely. And there you go. Just showing you the tomatoes. Now this is a, for me, this is how I want my tomato grilled. It must cook right through and not, you know, be hard. It must be soft. So the egg is cooking nicely. And voila, voila. I hope Gordon Ramsay saw the scrambled egg. And please, free lessons, you know, if you ever see my video, Gordon, uh -uh, please, an egg. I mean, I mean, Gordon says in his uh, show that when he tests his cooks, like if they apply for a job, he makes them make an egg because you can tell by somebody making an egg whether they can cook or not. And I believe that to be true. However, I was a bit toppled by that because then I realized, but Gordon, how can you say that? Because as far as I'm concerned, you can't make an egg. So, so I'm going to show you the trick not to break the yolk is to take the hot oil, you know, put it, you know, over the egg, just throw it over the egg so that now I'm avoiding because I do see some people turn the egg and I'm too scared to do that because there's a, a chance it's going to break. But I suppose, you know, if somebody really calls for their eggs to be turned because it is, you know, a process, they want them turned over. You can do that, but I think you should follow this process first before, you know, make the yolk at least hard before you can turn it. So if you wanted to turn it, now it's safe to turn them. Okay, so that is soft fried eggs, right? So I'm going to turn the camera around and... You know, we should be done. This is not supposed to be anything intricate, right? It's just a quick dinner, literally. Takes five minutes. I hope you can see well. The lighting is not great in this kitchen. I suppose I must get some advice from, you know, but at the moment I'm just having fun doing my thing, so... Okay, so there we go. This is the egg. The egg. There we go. And then just going to show you one plate because I then have another two eggs to do. So. There we go. My husband likes the tomatoes.
Okay, guys, remember this is my kitchen. My hands are clean. So I literally take the cheese griller out with my hand because my hands are clean. There you go. So that is supper, right? Now, let me tell you, my husband is the happiest man when he eats something like this. Um... So there we go. Look at that. That is quick and easy dinner. Fried eggs or scrambled eggs and a cheese griller and a grilled tomato. That's it. Nothing hectic, nothing fancy. Normal meal of the day. I mean, if I can calculate how much this will cost, it cannot be more than 10 rand, this meal. And sometimes it's how I struggle to understand why i you know i must pay literally you know 50 rand if you go to a restaurant i get it it's fine because of course you choose to go to a restaurant and there's staff and blah 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 but i'm just trying to show you at home you know you can make this meal for next to nothing it's a good meal that's what we have for supper and this is the scrambled egg can you see that literally looks so yummy and fluffy it is yummy and fluffy and that's what it looks like yes look at that awesome so guys um i do want to show you also you know poached eggs but i'm not gonna do that now let me feed the family and we still have another two scrambled eggs to make and then we can cook we can eat but thank you for joining me have a wonderful evening and please subscribe to this channel, like the video, comments, comments, tell me how you make your eggs, how you like your eggs, how you like, you know, your things done and all of that. I love those conversations. I'm always saying to our friends, you know, when you say I'm eating that, like, send me the picture, send me the picture. You know, I'm like that. So enjoy and have a lovely evening. Goodbye.